Welcome back to another episode of Howl Farms. Today, we're gonna to do us a little product review. All right, guys, today we're gonna to be reviewing the Solo 421 spreader. To me, this is hands down the best hand spreader on the market. The main reasons is it's durable, it's easy to use, and it's comfortable to hold. Now, if you've ever done any research on this spreader, you see guys putting this strap around their neck like this. I don't know where they're getting that from. The manual doesn't tell you to do that, and this just looks downright stupid. The way to strap this is over your shoulder, behind your neck, and back down to the plastic bottom. Here is the proper way to mount it. It drives me insane when I watch all these other reviews of this thing and people are strapping around their neck. That is the dumbest way you could carry this thing. All right, now that I'm over my rant about how you carry this thing, let's go over some of its features and why I think this is the best spreader on the market. First thing that sets it apart from all the other spreaders is a plastic hopper. This is the only one I found that has a plastic hopper. And let me tell you what, it makes a world of difference. This thing is gonna last a lifetime. It also has a clear lid, so if you're using it, you can look down inside through the lid and see how much seed or fertilizer or sand or salt or whatever you're spreading with this thing is still in it. Next thing, and another selling point I bought this for was a side deflector. Because if you're working a greenfield, you do not want to be wasting seed into the trees. Now some other features, it's got a seed direction thing right here, which it selects where the seed comes out on this plate. To me, I used it, it didn't really make that big of a difference. So I just leave it on center. Just let us do his thing. It's got a metal crank handle, which is super nice. Not all of them have metal ones. And if we flip it over, on the bottom is the gearbox. Now, the other nice thing about this, it leaves a port to oil it, which is pretty nifty. And the real nice feature is it's below the seed plate and it's all enclosed. There's no way for fertilizer or seed, now there's some dust down here, or anything to get to the gearbox. So it shouldn't bind up, it shouldn't rust, shouldn't corrode, and if you keep it old, it ought to be smooth as glass. All right, let's go back to the back, look at it. All right, it's also got a selectable flow rate level. This is closed. This is all the way open. It gives you this little knob right here too. You can unscrew it, move it, set it where you want. So when you open it, it's only gonna open as far as you want. Or you can close it, move the little knob over and open it all the way up. It also gives you a little metal bracket back here to support your tank, which I think, good move solo. I like that. Now this thing will hold 20 pounds, like I said, of salt, seed, fertilizer, pelletized lime. It even says you can throw sand out of this thing and some kind of cleaning agent, which I don't know of any pelletized cleaning agents, but I'm sure they're out there. Well, there you have it, guys. There's my review of the Solo 421. The best hand spreader on the market, hands down. I suggest if you're looking for a new spreader for food plots, heck, grass seed, fertilizer, or even salt to salt your sidewalk, order you one today. I'll link it down below where you can order this. I got mine from Walmart. These were running around $70 when I ordered mine. I'm not sure what the price is now, but I'll link it down below so you can order it. Well, until next time, I'll see you on the farm.